Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bradford Castro is here. We give him a lot of the kind of enterprise-grade notebooks. Mm -hmm. This is a new Windows 8 notebook, Asus Vivo book, the V451L. The yes. Vivo books are kind of Asus's least, less expensive yes. stuff, right? Yeah, it kind of sits there with those who are just wanting to use the laptop. Right. But this one has touch this time around. And they're trying to reach that particular market that where they just want to mess around with the laptop, do a couple of things. And it does, for the most part, does a couple of those things. Yeah. But it comes short on some on some stuff too. Well, tell us all about it. Let me so, see. Is this metal? yes, it is. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. And just right off the bat, I mean, you could tell just looking at the laptop, it's pretty thick. Looks like a MacBook Air, but a little yes. thicker, right? A little bit thicker. Well, yeah. and heavier. Yeah. This is four point seven pounds. Ooh. Yes. That is heavy. Yes. No SSD. It's a regular hard drive at five hundred gigabytes. Okay. Looking at about six gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and a ten eighty p webcam. But the funny thing is, it's not a ten eighty p display. It's actually thirteen sixty six by 768. That's so, where they always cut corners. Yeah, they always it? cut corners there, and they also cut corners in the processor as well. It's an i5. Okay. 4200. Now, come on, an i5's fine. Yeah, it's okay. For but, most people, I mean, you don't need more than that, right? Yeah, but the thing is, even for an i5, you would expect a little bit more battery life, which this does not do. Is this fourth generation Haswell? Yeah. Yes, Maybe it that, is. It, it is, is. Okay. but it's the hard drive that's really killing it yeah. in terms of the battery life. Right. So, uh, but everything else, you know, you're looking at, um, you know, some of the stuff that you would normally see on a regular laptop, like your DVD drives and stuff like that. Brian, if you could show them a little bit of the screenshots or at least some of the gallery on the sides. I do like touch for, uh, for oh, look, you've done all the benchmarks. Yes. Holy so, cow. Yeah. So this is actually Geekbench, 3D Mark, Passmark. And in these benchmarks, this is mostly at the CPU level because the, the, the graphics are, are actually not really that important right. at this level. So. But um, that's kind of what you're getting at. It's Summarize a really huge for me. Gap. What, what is it? So looking at this right now, I mean, it's a huge gap between an i7 and an i5 for okay. this particular model. But the thing, that, again, it holds it back is a hard drive. Right. So, and the other thing, too, that really makes this st stand out, too, is the fact that you're running at a lower resolution. Um, you would expect a little bit more performance. Um, but here's the thing that also is not so great. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of display here. This display looks a little washed out. Maybe that's the Yeah, it looks the a little angle. bit washed out. Know. Maybe it might be the angle. Um, again, we're looking at 1366 by 768. Yeah. But here's a typical game that we usually play on most Windows Pro Despicable type of... Despicable Me Despicable Minion me. Rush. Minion Rush. Kids and adults play it all the time. Yeah. And it's free. But if you look closely, it says, sorry, this app cannot be installed. Your PC might not be meet the minimum requirements. So for some crazy reason, even for an i5, this doesn't run it. That's disappointing. Yeah, yeah. that's very disappointing. So um, aside from those things, I mean, you're looking at a, a laptop that can do, of course, the normal stuff. It would expect to do, I mean, you can see, I mean, it does all the normal stuff you'd expect to see. I mean, it's pretty snappy. I mean, but this is something that is, that's expected of all Windows 8 type of, you know, machines. But the thing that kind of uh, sticks out right now is the fact that the price is at $699. It sounds like a good deal, but then... You know, when you compare it to other alternatives, there's just better ones out there. So for that price, in the $700 price range, there are better choices. Yes. Let's get the pros and cons on the V54. So the pros is that you have good dollar. anemones. I mean, it has, a, it has a drive. It has a number of ports in it. It has a two-in-one card reader. And, you know, three oh, that's and, nice. Yeah, and it has, you know, the... I don't know what the Super Multi DVD is. I would assume it runs all the different type of DVDs plus minus. So there's a spinning like optical drive in yes, there? Yes, there is. Oh, yeah. all right. So, I mean, so if you attribute the, the drive and the hard drive... No wonder. Yeah, then yeah. you're looking at less battery life, obviously. Right. Um, it has an Ethernet port, so that's kind of a cool plus. Um, but then... And HDMI. And HDMI. Full size. Yeah, which I and it has pretty armor. I mean, you're looking at something that is it's pretty nice on the outside, this is, is This is metal also. Yeah. So it's metal. It's aluminum. You know what? Aluminum. It looks pretty high quality. Yeah. i got to say, and Asus is very good at, yeah. at, at doing something like that. When it that. comes to, the, like, uh, appearance, they're always good at that sort of thing. The sacrifice is the screen resolution. The screen resolution. Uh, because it's got a spinning drive. The battery life. Battery life's not mm -hmm. great. Yeah. And uh, and performance is kind of only mediocre. Yeah, it's for very the mediocre, right. So those are the negatives. The pros, yeah. I guess, the price is right. Right. The price is okay. But compared to what we're seeing out there yeah. right now, it's just... It doesn't stand. It doesn't stand well against them. Well, I get a sense of where you're going with this. Is it a try, buy, don't buy? Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this a don't buy, simply because of its price and the fact that you're getting weak performance per dollar. You should get more for what you're paying. Yes, that's Radford Castro, our engineering director at uh, Twit and the uh, ASUS VivoTab. What was it? Four fifty-one. Four fifty-one. All right.
Thank you. Uh, great to have you once mm -hmm. again, Radford.